Viper, oh Viper, the twists and turns you bring to Valorant lore are just incredible. For those who are wondering what's going on, listen to these voice lines. What's it like, Reyna? Fighting to keep a loved one alive. No, please, tell me. One more time, Omen. <laughs> How many times have you heard that now? Sage, you're the only one who can keep us alive. Don't fail us now like you failed me then. These are just some of the many voice lines we'll be looking into today while we try to break down what Viper, the scientist from America, is all about. Welcome to Game Theory. Buckle up because this lore video will take you on a ride like none other. Sabine Callas, also known as Viper, the American scientist, was recruited into the Protocol as the second agent after the Mighty Brimstone. She was very much involved in recruiting agents into the Protocol and was responsible for hiring Breach as one of the initial agents as part of the Protocol team. Well done, Breach. I knew hiring you was a good idea. But later down the lane, Sage seems to be the one taking her spot and is in charge of recruiting the new agents. I wonder why this change took place uh, in the first place. Is it because she knows too much about everyone in Valorant? We'll talk more about her relationships with other agents later in this video. And boy, is it spicy, especially how she and Reyna are working together for a surprising cause. Viper was an elite scientist everyone relied on, but as time passed, other agents started to realize the bias she had in her lab test results and even showed signs of hate towards many agents. Everyone was quick in identifying this change in her personality, and I'm guessing that's the primary reason Sage took over the recruitment role alongside Brimstone. Viper's abilities are referred to as toxin abilities. The highlight about toxins is the fact that they are poisonous biological compounds produced by Viper herself. She can produce toxic clouds of gas that damage the respiratory system of all the other agents. Before going all toxic, Sabine was once a well-acclaimed scientist who has received multiple awards, as mentioned in Fade's dossier. The list of awards includes the R. Francis Prize and the Denton Outstanding Innovation Award. While she was among the best scientists in the world, something happened to Viper that completely changed her into the scary toxic agent she is today. What happened is yet to be determined, but one thing is sure. She wasn't the Sabine everyone loved at one point in time. Omen even claims that she was a person fond of healing people rather than hurting people. Just think, Sabine. You used to heal with your skill. Funny. We don't know much about what triggered this transformation apart from these lines mentioned in the dossier. And then the incident. Everything changed after that, didn't it? You changed. You isolated yourself. Shed all the pieces of your life in the name of vengeance. What could this incident be? Unlike the other agents, Viper might be the agent with the most number of interactions with other agents. Hence, the so-called incident could be linked with any of the agents she's already familiar with. Whatever the reason, this incident changed Sabine from a renowned doctor to the most toxic agent in the Valorant lore. One of the most speculated theories about this incident revolves around Omen. Viper was working for the Kingdom initially as a scientist who mainly conducted experiments involving the use of Radionite and its powers. Sadly, Omen was one of her failed experiments that led to him losing his body and a significant part of his memory. Sage tried her best to save Omen, but she could not completely revive him. Viper is rumored to have been in a relationship with Omen before this whole incident took place. In-game voice lines suggest that Viper already knew Omen pretty well, and there are some personal interactions between them. Listen to these lines. Stay alive, Sabine. Keep being their nightmare, old friend. Just think, Sabine. You used to heal with your skill. Funny. Jo- I mean, Omen. Keep yourself together, you're still needed. At times, Omen does seem to recollect bits and pieces of the horrific incident. Sabine, look at the monsters we've become. At least you have flesh to hide your horror. Experiment complete. Why is it rumored that Viper and Omen were in a relationship? Well, this voice line is why. One more time, Omen. <laughs> How many times have you heard that now? One more time, Omen. Yeah, well, <laughs> um, not much for me to say. The sarcasm is pretty evident. For those who understood, kudos to you. Now, think about it. If she's responsible for Omen's accident, could this be the reason for Viper's transformation? Is she angry at herself more than anything? Is she the one responsible for her own sadness? There are other alternate theories about what the incident could be, but I feel this is the strongest one that links up to the overall lore pretty well. Let us know in the comments what you think Viper's transformation incident could be. 
Go wild with your theories. We'll try to make sure we reply to every one of you. Okay, let's step away from our personal drama and talk about Lucia. Viper's past revolves around Omen and his whole failed experiment escapade. But what is Viper up to now? Well, this is where Lucia comes in. Lucia is Raina's younger sister, who is rumored to have similar Radiance features like Raina does. Both sisters seem to extend their lives with the more souls they collect. As of now, Lucia seems to be fighting for her life, with Viper trying to help her out through various treatments. Raina has been tasked to collect souls for Viper to continue her treatment to keep Lucia alive. You can hear Viper talk about it in this voice line. Fill your heart, Raina. If you want results, I need those souls. For Lucia to stay alive and fight her dire situation, she relies on Raina collecting souls and handing them over to Viper. It's a pretty straightforward relationship with Raina and Viper. The only question that remains is, what happens if Viper doesn't manage to keep Lucia alive? Does Raina turn on everyone if that does happen? What if Lucia is already dead and Viper has another plot in her head? As far-fetched as this seems, we have to take into account the fact that Sage recently replaced Viper in the agent hiring department after the whole duality episode. This change might now have gone down well with Viper, especially since Sage was the one to replace her. Brimstone and Sage are the ones who are handling recruiting now. This change was made to better handle the threat posed by the Omega world shown in the duality cinematic. With Viper being removed as VP and Sage being her replacement, let's talk about what's going on between Sage and Viper. To quickly recap, Viper was once a healer like Sage is now, and she's apparently pissed off at Sage for not reviving Omen to his true form. Sage, you're the only one who can keep us alive. Don't fail us now like you failed me then. Besides this line, she also says, Never, ever assume you can help me. You can't help me. You can't help them. Both these lines serve as a constant reminder to Sage that she was unsuccessful with the Omen accident and was partly to blame as well. To figure out more about what Sage felt about this whole situation, I had to dig deeper and I finally found this line. I wonder what torture their omen is going through. Is it like ours? Poor soul. Unlike Viper, where there are a ton of interactions between her and Omen, Sage seems to have just this one line regarding Omen. Though she does feel sad, the emotions aren't as extreme as when Viper says her lines. Clearly, there's not much remorse from Sage's side on this whole accident. She acknowledges the situation, but that's about it. This is where I think there's more to be revealed about the connection between Sage and Viper. If the whole Omen accident was the reason for Viper to become the toxic agent she is today, does that mean Sage and Viper were acquainted before? Did Sage not give her all when trying to save Omen? Does Viper blame Sage completely for the Omen accident? As time passes by, we will understand everything that happened during the day of Omen's accident. With Sage not showing as much remorse as I expected, it sure looks like Viper and her experiments went way overboard, resulting in her losing her friend. With Viper constantly reminding Sage of Omen's accident, is she trying to shift blame from herself over to Sage? It wouldn't be as surprising to see Viper take a turn for the worse and start going against members of the Protocol. She's already got Reyna doing the hunting, and her relationship with Sage seems to be getting toxic as acts pass by. Though it sounds kind of messed up for Viper to turn on her team, Sova might be one of the agents who'd agree with me. Listen to these lines. Your justice frightens me, Viper. Is there no other way to find peace? Sova clearly does not seem to agree with the way Viper is dealing with her issues. He seems to be asking Viper to calm down and resort to lesser violence. Agents are catching on and are pretty intimidated by what Viper is capable of. If she does lose her mind completely, the effects of what she's capable of could be catastrophic and could even end the whole protocol, agent by agent. Viper looks like an agent who's struggling mentally more than Omen is. Omen's trying to recollect his past, whereas Viper probably wants to forget about Omen's past. Sage, at the same time, got pulled into this whole mess because she tried to heal and bring back Omen back to his original form. Sage was unsuccessful in doing so, and since then, Viper has been losing her mind over the loss of her good friends. Where does Viper go from here? Is she saving Reyna's sister, Lucia, for some other toxic reason? Is Sova the only one calling out Viper's experiments? Hopefully, we'll have answers to all these questions as the acts pass by. With that, we come to the end of this lore video. Don't forget to like and subscribe with notifications on to be the first ones to watch our videos when they're released. We have many more lore videos scheduled for multiple games. Be sure to watch them all. We spend a ton of time researching all of our videos, and we hope you like them all. Hope to see you all in the next video. Until then, peace.